personally, when I want to learn more about the earth and climate science, I always turn to a Republican congressman. And so we have another lesson coming from one. This is Steve Stockman of Texas. He is very interested in the earth, and he wants to teach people what's so amazing about the earth. So he sent a couple of tweets. Let's bring up the first one. He says, the best thing about the earth is if you poke holes in it, oil and gas come out. <laughs> now, you only get 140 characters, so I will excuse a lot, but notice he had room for punctuation there. He could have fit in something that wasn't blatantly stupid, I think. Uh, another tweet, he says, there is reportedly $1 trillion in oil off the coast of California, but liberal hatred of science and human progress keeps them bankrupt. Right. That's now, exactly, that is funny. that's exactly what's happening. Again, I like that he's so old school that he uses periods and capitalization on Twitter. I will give him points for that. I assume you will deduct points for the stupidity in regard oh to the, the environment. I, you know, I, I just want to make the point that I think that the best thing about the Earth is that it is the <laughs> only livable planet in the known universe. Uh -huh. So the only planet capable of supporting life. I think that's a pretty good thing. Mm -hmm. I, you that know, we know of. That we know of. Right yeah. now, so far, it's the only place that anything can survive. So uh -huh. I think that should be primarily the thing that he considers to be the best thing about the Earth. The idea that you can poke holes in it and get oil and gas to come out uh -huh. has got to be the most childish thing I've ever heard. But, you know, <laughs> California has a very specific state law about offshore drilling. You know, there was a huge oil spill off the coast of Santa Barbara that uh, in 1969 that caused Richard Nixon at the president at the time to uh, create uh, all of these laws against offshore drilling to put California off limits, the offshore California uh, off limits to create the EPA and all of these other environmental laws. So that yeah. was a Republican doing that. And it just kind of shows the complete departure from traditional conservatism mm. that today's Republican Party and representatives have fallen into. This concept that, you know, oh, if you don't want to potentially imperil billions of dollars in California <laughs> tourism because you won't allow the oil companies to profit from offshore drilling and perhaps, you know, completely ruin the coastline, which yep. they've already done once before, that uh, this is somehow you hate science. It's, yep. you know, you hate oil and gas profits, I guess. Uh, you might be surprised to find out that uh, Stockman's number one source of corporate campaign donations in the 2012 election, the oil and gas industry. Yeah. Yep. This but tweet brought to you by Exxon, I suppose. And think about what this party wants to do to public education and the sciences. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they think that scientific evidence is liberal indoctrination and they want to get rid of it in public schools. And you know, of course, that's a very, very difficult thing to do. So they want to counter scientific evidence with um, a, a fair and balanced point of view from climate change deniers. Yeah. Yeah. So, so basically, we would create more minds as stupid as that guy. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's well, you know, it helps. It helps their cause. If you uh, require people, if, if you, in order to get elected, you really need people to be ignorant, not educated, not understanding what the science actually says about these things, then it helps to gut education and to change the curriculum so that children don't learn actual science, because then when they grow up and they vote, they vote more with you. Yeah, exactly. So it's sort of a long-term plan. Yeah. I would imagine that one man who didn't pay attention much during his like sixth grade physical science class, probably Steve Stockman of Texas, unfortunately. Uh, I like that he's at least thinking about the environment. I assume that the only real product of those tweets was probably a lot of Twitter mockery, I would mm -hmm. imagine. That's one of the great things about Twitter, is that the politicians want to speak to you, but now you get to speak directly back to them or the college student who is managing their Twitter account. <laughs> yeah, the poor yeah. intern that's stuck with that. Exactly.